whether it's from Louisville, Lexington, or anywhere else in our Commonwealth. These donations right here are all from individual people who want Eastern Kentuckians to know that they care. So we've got two kids of our own that's lost everything they've got. Recoveries continue in Eastern Kentucky as helpers from all over the Commonwealth are coming in to help pick up the pieces. We've unloaded half of our load uh, that we raised yesterday in Louisville. Oh, you, you want another one? Jeremy Harrell is the CEO of the Veterans Club, a nonprofit based out of Louisville. He says his team has been working closely with churches in eastern Kentucky to find out what the need is. Just anything that you can imagine that someone would need in their home, uh, we unloaded uh, a mixture of all those things. For many neighbors in and around Jackson and Hazard, Kentucky, like Mary Bowling and her husband Archie, it's proving to be a long road ahead. We still don't have any water, no TV. We, we just got phone service back. Saying they feel blessed compared to others who have lost everything. And you're starting all over and some people's not going to be as fortunate as other ones to start all over. It's going to be devastating. We look to you through all this. We thank you for the humanity. Dean Damaris is the pastor at Bible Baptist Church near Hazard, one of the sites the Veterans Club is assisting. There's no way we could provide this kind of uh, material for folks. He says it's going to be tough for his community, congregation, and loved ones, but that the help they're receiving is what they need. It's all uh, just amazing that, you know, that uh, America, there's people that love other people and want to help people. And so uh, that's heartwarming. It's a blessing. Harold saying it's their job now to fill in the gaps for these Kentuckians. In Breathitt County, Ford Sanders, WHAS 11, on your side.